Oh, I dropped him. Nuts. Yes. Oh, I dropped him again. hooked a squid on a lure uh, on the soft plastic um, <laughs> that's interesting well if there's squid around maybe I'll throw the squid yeah, right. Welcome to tonight's video. Mm. so today's video is all about these guys here hold them up Baba hold them up to the camera show the camera oh you hooked yourself so we're going to be chasing squid today. Uh, and these are the jigs I've been using that I've been having really good success with of late. These are the Haramitsu Sumizoku jigs, I'm pretty sure they're called. Um, I have two in red, as you can see, and I also have one in green. Um, but the red seems to be the standout down at Campbell's Cove. And this jig, I've caught more squid with this jig in the last six months than I have caught squid in probably the last six years. Um, fairly good design, nice even sink rate. And when it sinks, it sits on the bottom and pretty much sits just like that there. Now, these guys aren't cheap. Down at Hooked On Bait and Tackle. A little bit of uh, advertising here for Hooked On Bait and Tackle. These guys, I think they're about 30, 33, 34 bucks each, but they are well worth the investment. So get down to Hooked On Bait and Tackle, go and see Mick and Mel, get some of these guys in your arsenal. The Haramitsu Sumizoku jigs, if you guys at home want to catch a squid, go and get some of these. Anyways guys, I hope you liked today's footage. It was an absolute blast. I bagged out on squid and we were only out there for about two hours. But anyway, sit back and enjoy tonight's footage. Cheers guys. There we go. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get a few more of them, we'll be happy. Hopefully chuck him on and see if we can pick up a squid. Now, the problem I have with this is I didn't bring a net. So if I don't get a decent hook up with the squid, that could be a problem. So I'll throw him out about there, I reckon. I'm going to use the Kitec again. Um, but we'll see how we go. I reckon that's what's been playing with my other rod. Um, I reckon there's a squid that's playing with it. But we'll see how we go. Oh, yep, squid on straight away. You beauty. I wonder if it's the same squid that I picked up before. I've got a fish on this other line or I've got another squid I've got something that's for sure yeah this is gonna be the problem can I pick up this squid without a net and not get wet Targeting squid. All right. Oh, it's definitely. I reckon that's definitely a squid on the other rod. Hundred percent. This is a squid on the other rod. Oh, yep. Squid on. Yes. Another squid on. Beauty. The squid have decided to show up today. You know, I came out here a couple of days ago with the kids. We were ready for an hour and a half chasing the squid, and we got not one hit. So I'm actually quite surprised that there's squid around. 
feels a bit bigger this one too. See if we can get him in without, uh, without the net again. Getting a good little feed going on here. Uh, it's only a little one, but we'll see how we go. Bring him up alongside the kayak. Turn him around so he doesn't get me. Oh, come back this way. Second little squid of the morning. There you go guys, second little squid, you beauty. this jig out behind where my lure is and see if I can pick up the squid because he's definitely on it but I'm never gonna pick him up never gonna pick him up with that lure that's on there all right we'll see how we go so the squid jig's out behind where this lure is so let's see if we can get the squid so let that jig sink to the bottom about there Squid on. Yeah, beauty. Picked him up. Now, I don't like the fact that he's coming straight towards me and he hasn't inked yet. So, I'm going to try and get him around the back of the kayak. Oh, I've only just got him by his candles, too. Alright, we'll see if we can get him around this way. Little one. Yeah. Ah, got him. You beauty. Another squid. There you go, guys. Just picked him up on his candle. Beauty. Oh, and he's just broken off. Who needs a net? Alright, we've got a squid on there. on the sleeper rod straight away. Right. Come across a good little patch of squid here. Gonna get a good little feed. Yeah, come on mate. Oh shit, I lost him. He's only just hooked this guy. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, got away. Nuts. Yep, squid on. You beauty. Oh, oh that's a good squid. Oh, good squid, this one. Pulling some string. Let's hope we can keep this one attached, eh? See if we can get this one in the kayak without losing it. Ah, bring her around this side of the kayak. Jesus. Really good squid. Yes, there we go. That is the biggest squid of the day. Ah. So what I do is quickly throw that lure. I'm gonna quickly throw that jig back in the water. Just never know. Might have a mate. There's the next little squid. Definitely the biggest so far, and he'd be, be close to 25, 20 in between 25, 30 centimeter hood. Your beauty. And that's how you know your jig's in the right area, because you're picking up weed at the same time. You're not gonna pick up squid mid-water. The simple reason is, that's not where they live. Let's get this jig aired. All right, let's get this jig this out somewhere. behind. Soft plastic. Hopefully we don't tangle the lines. We'll see if we can pick up another squid.
we jig in the water. Let's see how we go. Yep, squid on. Oh, I knew it. I knew there'd be one out there. He was playing with the other rod. Alright. Funnily enough, I reckon there's another one playing with it at the moment. I reckon I might bag out on squid the way we're going. I don't want to jinx it, but I've only been out here what, 35 minutes. What's this? I think this is squid six. Alright, swing him around to the back of the kayak. Is only a little, but squid the squid. I'll bring him in. Yeah. I reckon there's another one I'm playing with that jig. So let's get that out there. I reckon that's about where it is. Let's see how long it takes. Yep, squid on. There we go. Knew it wouldn't be far away. All right, you beauty. Good to see the squid are still around out at Campbell's Cove. Got the monthly fishing report up on the Fishing Mad website. So go on and check that out. And this trip will definitely be featured. All right. All right, swing him, swing him around the back. He's only just pegged. If we can keep, keep him soon. attached. Alright. Oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Ooh, good sized squid, this one, too. Oh, come here. There we go. Hey, beauty. There we go. Hey, beauty. Oh, fish on. Ah, oh, dropped him. There you go, another good little squid. All right, so definitely got a squid on this rod here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll wind the yellow rod in. The squid's still on this rod here. So I'll let him drift with me, and then I'll wind the yellow rod in, see if I can pick up the squid off that rod. Get it back in the water. See if I can pick up the squid on this other rod. Let's see if it works. See if the plan works. Oh, it's a good squid, this one, too, by the feel of it. Oh, there he is on the surface. Definitely still got another squid on the other rod. You can see it there bouncing along. I think he's just let it go. Oh. All right. No, he's still there. All right. Let's see if we can get this one in the water. See if we can get this one out of the water. Oh. All right. There's one. Oh. He's just put ink everywhere. All right. Throw that out there. Let that sit in the rod holder for a minute. All right. So the squid's let go of that one. So let's see if I can get the jig in. Oh no, there we go, Just let it go now. And squid on straight away. There we go, you beauty. Just what I thought. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he did too. He dropped it, all right. There we go, Rehooked him, all right. Definitely a squid that one. Let's bring him in. We're gonna to have to go around the back of the kayak again. There's definitely some really, really good squid grounds out here of late. Here he is on the surface. He's not overly big, but he's big enough. Go. Two squid. 
All right, now my bag. All right, see, so bag limit for squid is 10. I've got eight. So might as well see if we can get out. So squid for the month of March is the Yak Hunters fish of the month. Um, and we're measuring that via the hood size. So I've got the Yak Hunters brag mat. And I've got the March 2022 code, which is Kraken 22. So if you catch a squid, chuck it on your brag mat. Make sure you've got the code word on your brag mat as well. And we'll measure them by hood length. End of the month, person with the biggest squid gets a prize pack from Pro Lure Australia and another squid on. All right. Feels like a good squid, that one too. Right. Ooh. So we've got two sitting in the footwell, six in the esky behind me. Another one about to come aboard. Feels all right too, this one. Feels really good. The area just produces squid all year round and it is such a great fishery. Obviously this time of year, like going by the size of the squid that we've got so far today, they're not overly big, um, but they're definitely here in numbers. This guy is, there you go, squid number nine. We'll throw out, we'll see if we can get one more. And then we'll throw out the uh, soft plastics and see what we can pick up. And that is a massive squid. Oh, look at the bend on that rod. Yes, it's got him hooked for sure. Yes. Yes. Feels like a really good squid, this one. Let's hope we can keep this one on. Oh no, he's not as big as the first thought. He's a good squid though. All right. Let him ink everywhere before we pull him in. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. All right. Oh shit. There you go guys, 10 squid, that's our bag, so I'm not gonna fish for squid anymore. I'm gonna chuck the soft plastics out, head out a little bit deeper, and we're gonna go and target some flatties. Beauty. Ah, oh, you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. If you like the video, hit the bell to never miss another one.